Mm -hmm. Here they go. That was, a, that was the butch. They're trying to target me again. You know, like I said, they always trying to do that shit with Pam. About how she's a let. Well, I'm like, I don't give a fuck if she's bisexual, have you? I don't, give, I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? That's her issue. That's the issue that she has to deal with within herself. That's not my issue. Okay? As I always say, I always tell her, say, it doesn't matter what relationship you get into. Be with a man or be with a woman. If you don't change your mentality, you're going to end up the same. And the, and the facts are, if you have issues mentally and you don't rectify it, or at least attempt to, it doesn't matter what relationship you get into. And you look at the facts, you know, uh, same-sex couple who are in relationship or married, the majority of them end up getting divorced or separated uh, within a year or two. So, again, that's because a lot of them have issues that they don't want to deal with. And so this will happen. Same with, uh, you know, heterosexual couples and marriages. So, don't really care. Anyway. And then I got some news. Uh, so this new, the when I went to see my neurologist, you know, he was on vacation, so they had a, another neurologist, black guy. And I used to get these injections uh, once a month. You know, they would get, uh, they would deliver it, and I had to inject the medicine in the back of my head, and um, you know, for my headaches, once a month. Right, and so. I would stop getting those very painful ice pick headaches. Uh, and again, because they, uh, you know, don't want me to get that medicine, all right, because the pharmacy stopped delivering it. And then they called me the next month and told me that I have to pay $150. And I'm like, oh, I gotta pay $150 when, you know, you guys didn't deliver. You never, you never called me. So I was like, forget it. So my neurologist was supposed to give me uh, uh, um, send a prescription to another pharmacy. And, you know, he didn't do that. So this neurologist that filled in for him sent my prescription to another pharmacy. And they're telling me that it's $900. Then I get another call from them saying that it's two medications that's supposed to get uh, the serotriptine and the other one, and the you know of, of the copay for one is four hundred and something, and for the serotriptine is three hundred and something. I'm just like, hold up! I get serotriptine from Walgreens, okay, and I pay just I pay like ten dollars for it. So you know I don't know what's going on. So anyway. Uh, you know, and of course they don't want me to get that medicine because uh, again, they know the damage that they've done. And you know, it gets worse and worse, the more they target you, you know. So this is what is, what they're doing is delay tactics, delay and sabotage tactics, all right? But I do take the serotriptin, you know, it lasts for a couple of days, which is good. So I still have that. But I know what it is that they're doing. And I'm letting people know exactly what it is that they're doing. How they interfere with your medications. They try to deny you it. They'll do things to sabotage you. So where you have to end up spending more money. And more money out of pocket. You know? And then trying to tell you, oh, you know, if you, if you use all your money, all your disability to get your medication, you know, they're not going to... Uh, arrest you or they're gonna stop targeting you it's all bullshit you know it's all bullshit so again you gotta understand the programming and how you're being conditioned and how you were conditioned how you were conditioned and how you continue to be conditioned and once you start to once you start to understand recognize and see it you know you'll be able to move in such a way that they won't, uh, you know, it wouldn't affect you 
and some of your decisions, you know, tremendously as it did in the past. It'll still affect you, but not to that great extent as when you're first being targeted because you don't know anything. So yeah, I'll continue to do these videos. And um, you know, even today in class, uh, answering, you know, asking questions, answering some of the problems, and then you know, you hear sirens in the background. You know, you, you, you hear it on my end, and then you hear it on either uh, some of the students. I guess they had their microphone on. You hear the sirens in the background on their end. So yeah, they don't stop targeting you. You know, last night they had me. They have my neighbors upstairs knocking on the on, on, on the floor to try to prevent me from going to sleep. You know, this is an everyday occurrence, the shit that they do. Uh, I tell them every day, fuck you. I don't give a shit. And keep doing what I'm doing. You know, at times it's a it's, it's a struggle, it's hard. You know, most of the times it's hard. You know, but hey. Exposing this is what I need to do. So that's what I'm doing. Right? Okay.